Okay, welcome back with Sheriff Knight. And uh, we said you'd let, let, we always let you ask one question. One question. It's a softball question. You'll be able to answer Good. this one pretty easily. So I'm going to get it formed in a Jeopardy type format. So what is April 25th at Ruth Eckerd Hall? Uh, uh, REO Speedwagon. Bingo! <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Your favorite band. My favorite band. Oh, my God. You going? Definitely not. Oh, no? All right. Gracious. Let me know when my a high punk rock band. band comes in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're right, though. I have to give you credit. You come up on that one. <laughs> you did your research. All right, well, of course, we always ask our guests who their favorite bands are. And last time when the sheriff was on, he said Ario Speedwagon. He's taken a lot of heat over the last <laughs> few months because of that, but uh, that's okay. All right, now, anyway, moving on. Where are we now? Let's see. Uh, the officers, a lot of police officers want to be able to have Internet access with their car computers. What do you think about that? Um, it's a good thing, but it's a cost thing. Uh, You've got to have air cards in there. and. And uh, it's something we're looking at for the future. We're always looking to update our technology. We have good computers in the cars right now. Um, something we'll look at for the future. And if it's something that's really needed uh, from a law enforcement perspective that they needed to go out and day in, day out, do their job, we'll definitely get the air cars and get, get them in their cars. From the technology's there. Uh, I think right now it would be our cost. What would it cost to re-equip those cars? Um, but it is something that will definitely probably happen in the future somewhere along the line. If we can get some grant money um, and upgrade it that way, we will do that. We're always looking for grant monies and stuff. Uh, but right now, the grant money is not there for any type of technological advancements. So, Single biggest complaint you hear is mm -hmm. about the insurance situation yeah. uh, with the sheriffs. Uh, they complain about the county's health insurance. Uh, ha what are the complaints and what can we do about it? Well, it, it's like anybody else in, in, who who lives here and are, has a insurance with a private company or through another type of public entity is um, the cost of the deductibles, the type of coverage you're getting. Um, there are a lot of sheriff's departments that are with uh, different insurance companies. They've gone out and shopped insurance. Um, I, the deputies have asked me if I would do that, so uh, I have asked some of the people inside my organization to start checking with our sheriff's departments to see um, what type of insurance coverage they're getting, how it impacts their agency. A lot of it's a morale issue. Um, if we can get them better health insurance with lower deductibles and stuff, um, I will do it. It's it's definitely something we're going to take a look at. So you may so we're, we're tagged along with the county. You may take it outside of the county's policy then, possibly. Well, being a constitutional officer, I can look into those type of things. I can kind of shop it around like a private entity, and and we often hear government officials talk about running their governments like a private entity, and. Uh, I think that I'm a little bit progressive as I will run a sheriff's department a little bit more like a private entity in certain circumstances where I can. And if I can benefit our employees by getting better health insurance coverage at a better cost, I will definitely do it. There aren't many patrol cars that have video cameras yeah. in them that can videotape traffic stops and audio tape them. I know they're, they're kind of expensive. Do you think that they're valuable and would you like to have more? I think it's valuable to show the professionals of deputies. Uh, many times those those uh, video cameras dispute what a complainant is saying about them and it helps with the evidence gathering as you know with DUI cases they're now digitally they are digital now a lot of them is the size of the vehicles that, that we drive the Impalas which are a cost economic type law enforcement vehicle uh, if you've been in those cars lately with the computers so they receive their dispatch with their rifles and the, their equipment they have in there um, kind of hard to get much more equipment inside those vehicles. I would like to see video cameras in all the cars, but we would probably have to drive a Crown Victoria or more Tahoes to get them in. Mm -hmm. um, but again, if, if we can get them inside the vehicle safely without overloading the electrical systems, um, we would do that. It's not as easy as people think you throw a video camera in a the car. They could be tagged into our electrical outlets. Those cars are already got heavier um, equipment going through them. They got electronic releases for the shotguns and the rifles. So. A lot of electronics on the inside of those cars, so just sticking a video camera in there isn't like plugging it into a, a cigarette lighter like we do with our personal vehicles. Last thing, we got about a minute yep. left. Uh, it, there are two special specialized units in, mm -hmm. within the Sheriff's Office. One is called Special Investigations Bureau, which is yep. primarily drugs, and then uh, Criminal Investigations Bureau, which is primarily white collar crime. A lot of the younger deputies complain that the guys who have been in those two units have been in there a long time, yeah. and it's hard for a young deputy to get into those specialized units. What do you I, think and about I agree. That? Succession planning is that we have a lot of guys and, and ladies in there with with uh, institutional knowledge, and the amount of time and effort and money we put into training those individuals, along with their experiences and their background, 
on the type of investigations they've done, it's hard to replace them with that job skill and that knowledge. But I do think we have to start looking at some of our succession planning, getting these younger people in and getting them married up with these senior investigators so they can see the type of investigations they do and get them trained and get them moved for the future. Again, that's, that's succession planning um, that really um, hasn't been done a lot. So we, we need to look at that in the future, getting them married up with some of our senior investigators. Sheriff, we got to get our weasel of the weekend. So thank you very much thank for coming you, on our show. Well done. Okay. Now it's time for the weasel of the week. Okay, Scott Peterson with the Herald Tribune. I love you. You've covered my baseball teams over the years, and I appreciate that. However, I'm making you our weasel of the week because... On behalf of all Florida State Seminoles, we are sick and tired of the Herald Tribune's bias in favor of the Gators. We've, no matter what we do, we cannot get equal coverage. It's always Gators, Gators, Gators. Well, you know what? This year, we got a better basketball team than the University of Florida. We're doing better. We beat you head to head, and we still cannot get any coverage of our basketball team, which has cracked the top 25. Seminoles throughout Sarasota County are sick and tired of the Herald Tribune's bias in favor of the Gators, and we want it changed. So for that reason, Scott Peterson, you're our Weasel of the Week. Welcome to Clout 941 next week, where I don't even know who we have as a guest. I think we have Joe Gruters. Joe Gruters, Republican Party Chair of Sarasota County. Bye. <laughs> you're burnt. <laughs>